Do you struggle to speak up in a relationship and feel you can't express what you feel or what you need? Never speaking up creates a pattern in which you keep things to yourself and in doing so, your partner or the other person will never truly know what's going on in your mind or how you're feeling underneath the surface. After a while, this is only going to cause you suffering, feeling hurt, anger, resentment, sadness. So why do we do that? A lot of this behavior stems from fear, afraid of being rejected, fear of disapproval, fear of being a burden, fear of being the cause of your partner's or the other person's stress and hurting their feelings. And in some cultures, you don't have a voice, let alone be heard. The truth is, the less you speak up for yourself, the less confident you'll be in who you are and what you stand for. When you're used to staying quiet and keeping all your thoughts and feelings to yourself, it can be easy to begin to question all of them. This will only be toxic for you and your mental health in the long run. Meet Rosa, who has discovered her voice to speak up and step into her greatness. Her sadness is replaced with confidence, ease and freedom to pursue a new life for her and her son. When you first came to me, like what were you experiencing when you came to see me? I was just anxious and um, COVID and my business and everything else, it's, I've added even more things. Like with the marriage wise and felt like I couldn't say anything. So I'm, I'm a bit more at peace with that. I'm definitely more relaxed and a, a bit more confident. There's a change. I definitely haven't been crying as much. Not really that much, to be honest. So I'm, I was thinking the other day, I was like, oh, I don't know, I don't seem to be as sad. So, yeah. Fantastic. I noticed it in myself. I kind of stopped the other day and went, closure i guess even when i think about it like normally when i you know you start to relive memories like you start you know going back there but yeah i don't I, yeah i don't think i did so it was it was good yeah and that's typically what happens you don't know there's a change until you something happens and you, then you sort of think back and you realize oh actually i'm a little bit different from how i normally am yeah mm. so what did you learn about yourself um that i can I can speak up and you know, I, I don't have to live where I was. I can just be who I, I want to be and, and who, I, who I know I can be. I don't know, like it's, it's a weird thing. Like part of me is, you know, I think just the way life has gone, like feeling the victim and not feeling great. But there's, there is that part in there that, that, as I said, like the greatness, there is something there. Perceptions changed, so there's a different yeah. belief there now. More that, more that belief, yeah. yeah, 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 fantastic. So, how did you find the online process? Oh, it's great. It's great for me because I, uh, you know, that don't have the time traveling and everything, and it's it's the same, really. Yeah, I, I don't mind it. Yeah, good, good. So, what does the future look like for you? Freedom online business I, I've, I've just got this feeling I'm gonna have an unsuccessful online business that's that's what I feel um, and freedom time freedom financial freedom yeah beautiful so you have more clarity around that now yeah yeah, yeah. and more belief more than anything yes did you like the hypnosis yeah it was really nice it was really nice. It was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so have you benefited, benefited? Have you benefited from the, the sessions? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Definitely more confident. Yeah. Definitely more confident. Yeah. And and more at, at ease in, inside. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. It's yeah. been lovely. Yeah, I can see you're in a very different place. Yeah, yeah, I yeah definitely. Chance. I see that energy, so that's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. I feel good. Thank you so right. much. Thanks, Rosa. Bye. Bye. If you want to have an honest and truthful relationship, you're going to have to face your fears and work on overcoming them. If you're having trouble speaking up for yourself in your relationships or in general, seeking professional help will give you the tools that you need to step forward through your fear and speak your truth and express what it is that you want. 
Learning to speak up for yourself when you need to will make your life happier and more at ease with yourself. And no one will ever question where you stand because it'll be right out there in the open. You'll feel free, at ease, and using your voice speaking up is expressing yourself to the world. And that's where the magic is. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell to be notified of all new content, including tips to help you speak up in relationships.